All right, what else have we got? Uh, has helped me through some tough times lately. That is great for him. I need to, well, hold on. What is the, an invitation? Uh, let's, I guess, go check in on these people. Where are they at currently? Uh, they are, two of them are over there. One of them is, oh, one of them is literally right here. Hello, Never Evie. What the FC did. Never forget. What do you want? I'm very busy. Um. Relax. Marcus Lestari from Sanctum Universe wanted me to deliver this to you. What? Let me see. Oh, yeah. I went to the Sanctum Universe a while back. I haven't checked it out again, though. What are your thoughts on the Sanctum Universum? It's interesting. The whole literally finding God thing is comforting to me, in a way. Wait, why am I telling you this? What would my character do? I wouldn't go back if I were you. It's a waste of time. Don't tell me what is and what isn't a waste of my time. The truth is that I want to believe in it all. The Sanctum Universum believes that God gave us the ability to grab jumps so that we can search for him and find him. If that's true, maybe I can find my dad as well. I lost him when I was just a little girl. I can barely remember him. So why didn't you ever go back to the church? Because... If it all ends up not being real, I'd be devastated. I understand, but you're setting yourself up for disappointment. I don't want to hear this. I don't need some life lecture from someone I barely know. I might go back or I might not, but I don't want to talk about this anymore. All right. I keep coming back here. I really like what Aquilus has to say. I guess let's go over here to uh to these other people what is up this way though I'm interested uh, I think this just is a gigantic loop around to things this way yeah it's a gigantic loop around okay jump in the water Come on, get up on the... Th okay, apparently we're stuck. There we go. Okay, one person's a little bit farther away than the other. And hopefully... I don't want to have to go all the way back to jail to, to take a nap for it to become daytime. I really don't want to have to do that, but I might have to. Because people aren't going to be in their normal spots, I'd imagine. Uh, Okay. Oh no, not the cheerful guy. I'm on tax duty tomorrow. Can't wait. Oh my god, that's great. Oh, actually, okay. Working at the distribution center can be tiring, but it sure is rewarding. A uh, special delivery for Marcus Lestari of the Sanctum Universum. Really? Nice. I went there a while back. Good to see they still remember me. What are your thoughts on the Sanctum Universum? To tell you the truth, I don't really have any thoughts on the church itself. I wouldn't consider myself religious. I initially went because it just seemed interesting. I don't think I really know enough about the church to decide if it's bad or good, or if it's even a good fit for me. I guess maybe I should go back to figure that out. Why'd you stop going? Uh, there wasn't really any reason. I just got busy or lazy and stopped going. I've actually been meaning to check it out again. It's just something interesting to do after work. The people seem nice as well. Kind of creepy, right? It's like they're keeping tabs on you. <laughs> creepy? I think it's flattering. Because of my job, I don't really have too much free time to socialize or make friends. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job. It's the best job in New Atlantis. But still, it can be hard to put myself out there sometimes. That's actually one of the reasons I went to the Sanctum Universum. Just to talk with people and get to know them. It was nice. It really was. 
I mean, there's probably better ways to spend your time, my guy. Maybe, but I'm not really interested in those things, I guess. Something about the Sanctum Universum is just interesting to me. I can't put it any other way, really. I think I may give it another shot. But hey, let me ask you something. Do you believe in all this Sanctum Universum stuff? What do you think? Uh, no, it's not for me. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not sure if I'll believe any of it either. But what the hell, right? Well, hey, I'll let you get back to it. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Keep on keeping on. All right, let's try and I guess we're 0 for 2 on convincing people not to join the, the graph drive cult, basically. <laughs> maybe we convince, maybe we can convince the one other person. Oh, they're not even here. There, we have, we'd have to go to a different. Okay, well, I guess we're going to a different part of town. Where are they located at? They're located at the spaceport. Well, if we're at the spaceport, we might as well, uh, we might as well rest in jail. I can't believe there's not a, unless I'm stupid, and there is a way to rest. But I did not see a rest button on the key bindings, like I saw, uh, like I saw. That I know is for a fact in Skyrim and in Fallout, which is normally T. Oh, it's this guy. I think I could live on coffee if I had to. I sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. How's your girlfriend doing, by the way? Uh, Marcus Lestari from Sanctum Universe asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. I, I guess. An invitation, huh? Yeah, I checked out the church a few weeks ago, but I haven't gone back yet. Yeah, can you turn when you're talking to me? That'd be, that's really rude to have your back to someone. Uh, can I ask why you visited in the first place? My girlfriend and I want to leave New Atlantis and travel the settled systems. We've been working our butts off, and my girlfriend is so excited. I'm excited too, but it's still a little scary, you know? We've been in New Atlantis all our lives. We don't even really know what to expect out there. I guess I was seeking out some sort of comfort from the church. <laughs> I don't really know. I can see why. The whole thing seems bogus. I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm not saying I believe, but I don't think anyone can say for certain that it's bogus. I guess that's probably why I never went back. There's no certainty. Yeah, you're right. Probably best not to go back. Honestly, it's a waste of time. You're probably right. In any case, I have more important things to think about now. I still gotta scrounge up enough credits to leave New Atlantis with my girlfriend. Maybe when that's all taken care of, I might check the church out again. But I'm not so sure I will. For now. Anyways, I gotta head out. Thanks for the chat and for delivering this to me. Take care of yourself. Alright, we will return to Marcus. Uh, where is... Okay, it's over there. Well, all right. And we are to have that quest. Uh, and then, yeah, we do have that as what we have active. Where is the quest marker? It is that way. Okay. Let's run over there. I'm... Oh, if you do the if you do a run and jump, it doesn't uh, consume as much. So we're probably going to be doing some running and jumping because it's not eating up our oxygen meter as much. Can we run through it one more time? I don't know what this building is, though. It's obviously something that's under quarantine, maybe. It's All right. Giving me a lot to think about. Keeper Aquilus has been helping me work through some uh, anger issues. Okay, can you tell me more about yourself? Sure, but I warn you, I'm not the world's most interesting guy. I was born and raised in New Atlantis, actually, to be more specific, the well. I had a rough childhood like most people from down there. And luckily for me, I managed to get out of there and find a job in a commercial district. The Sanctum Universum has been helpful for me. I admittedly have struggled with feelings of anger, and sometimes I still do. 
Keeper Aquilus and the church have really helped me to become a better person. How involved are you with the church? I'm a pretty devoted follower. Um, I love coming to listen to Keeper Aquilus and talk with the others. I still have a lot to learn, though. I truly believe that Keeper Aquilus and the Sanctum Universum has been an absolutely positive influence on my life. I try to reach out to others as much as possible, you know, invite them to come talk with us and spread Keeper Aquilus's teachings. I think it's the least I can do. Okay, I finished checking in on the prior visitors. Great! Uh, how'd it go? Was there supposed to be some lesson to be learned from all of this? I don't know if I would go so far as saying that there was a lesson to be learned, but hopefully, if you talked with them, you noticed that each person had a different reason for visiting the Sanctum Universum. The diverse backgrounds and perspectives of each of our visitors and members is what makes our community so great. We support, challenge, educate, and comfort one another. At the end of the day, the church is trying to build a community. It doesn't matter what you believe or what your background is. All are welcome here. I don't know if any of them will stop by again. And that's fine. Well, we can't force them. As long as they know they're welcome to come back, that's more than enough. Here, your payments as promised. Thank you for taking the time to do this. And I hope to see you around the church, too. Well, I mean, as long as you're offering quests and XP, I might be around the church, but I'm not going to... Unless the, unless there is, like, a quest line for joining the church, we're not joining the church. Um, okay, just a citizen, like, l casually lounging shade. Uh, you ever heard one of his sermons? They're really good. Okay, yeah. Uh, Evie Terrence. Restart Collective Embassy. Okay. Hello. Nobody sees the ambassador without an appointment, and you don't have one. Unless you've got embassy business, I suggest you move along. Can I go up the stairs without you shooting me? Anything up here? No. Okay. Um, let me make a quick save before I go in this elevator and have him maybe anger at me. Oh, no. Okay. Can't go to the embassies. Noted. Um, what, what quest do I currently have marked? Oh, back to the grid. Okay. That's what we have marked at the moment. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just a little confused where I'm at. Um, I am so turned around. Okay, I think I know where I'm at. Is Bethesda, this is why this place needed a... If you're going to build the biggest city you've ever made, why not have a world map? Armistice to archives. decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. Yes. So the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped, mechs and xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive, which actually rests below our feet as we speak. Excuse me? And while these new restrictions transformed the settled systems overnight, Entire economies were upended with the flick of a pen. They also marked the start of something critical. Cooperation between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective for the first time in decades. A pledge between the powers for a more harmonious future. Thank you for listening. The archives themselves are off limits, but you're free to look around up here. Oh, I can't go in here and like hit that button. 
Like I just did. Are you saying that's awful? You got your clearances? Good. Not supposed to be talking to you. Can I go in here? I apparently have the clearance. I don't know how I got the clearance, but I've got the clearance. Whatever clearance I maybe because I'm a vanguard, maybe. But like, but like, ah, he's a vanguard. He'll be good enough. That's the only thing I can think of because I haven't officially joined. Uh, what's it called yet? The uh, the. Uh, Help me out here, Vasco. What do what do you keep incessantly yabbering? Is here in the city. Constellation. Yeah, I've not joined Constellation yet, so it can't be that. Oh, it's a master lock. Interesting. Okay, two master locks we can't get into. All right, so I can't do anything in here quite yet. All right, what else do we got out here? Um, doesn't seem like anything. Did we go to this building? I don't think we went to this building. This, tell me how many zeros I need to add to the offer. I'm sorry, sir, but we can't sell to you. You see citizens only. Ah, <laughs> I think I understand. And, uh, the cost to put me down as a citizen would be... what, exactly? Sir, bribery is a crime in the colonies. Mm, fine. Perhaps I'll just be having a chat with your superiors, then. Good day. You see in her damned regulations. <laughs> UC homes can only be purchased by UC citizens, so you know up front. Well, it's only gonna take me ten years, according to me being a vanguard. Always ready to make a deal. Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. Again, what it's really rude today? to talk to somebody to with your back turned to them. Move up in the world, or just window shopping. Uh, I actually just wandered in. That's fine. It happens all the time. I never mind an opportunity to chat with someone new. <laughs> I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. Uh... Do you have any properties outside of New Atlantis? Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation, and actively lobbying for a little more leeway. Uh, okay, well, let's hear about what you have for sale. Okay. Let me just pull up your data. Oh, I'm sorry, but you're not a United Colony citizen. I'm afraid property ownership here in New Atlantis isn't available to you. If, if you take the exciting step of becoming a citizen, we'll be here for you. So you can't even show me, like, the prices. I gotta be a citizen Don't to even see the prices. Time. Okay. Um, citizens, citizens. You're in the vanguard, right? This space is a memorial to those lost during the colony war. Your consideration is requested. If you are a citizen and require brief counseling, you may speak with any Colonial Health Services representative to initiate counseling intake. All right. Um, where does the beginning of the sentence start? Here. 
in memory of the brave service members of the United Colonies who gave their lives in the Colony War. These 30 represent the more than 30,000 who fought and died for freedom, honor, and order. All right. Um, now I got turned around. Where am I at? Okay, here I am. Uh, I believe we're here. And then we came up from here. Right. Explored. So now I think we just have the lodge. And I think we're good. But there's also a tree. Someone says there's somebody that walks beneath a tree that we can talk to. Mark my words. Working at the office of oh no, you. Uh, we've already talked to you. Citizens about uh no no kelton hello i'm sorry i really can't afford to be distracted i need to get to the bottom of this uh you seem to be staring at a tree i am not staring i am analyzing this is important xenobiological work i work for the scientific division of mast i've been studying this tree for quite some time and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Are you going to pay me? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Sure. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. All right. Did that was that the person that I needed to go talk to a person in my tree? Yeah, it was. Okay, uh, we can actually close these down. We don't need them up, out. There we go. Um, not the, there's some quests we have right now. That, okay, let's just get out of there before we get confused on stuff. Um, this is the building. What building is this? Okay, that's the archives. This is not a building at all. Okay. Uh, let's, I guess, maybe go and do, uh, go to the lodge because there's really nothing else for us to do. Where's the lodge in relation to everything? Over there. Okay. Any other people we need to talk to? before we set our adventures to complete the first of the many main quests. Does not appear so? Okay. Okay, Vasco, it's finally time to go up here to the lodge, buddy. I know you've been asking for 10 hours now for me to go up to the lodge. Uh, lodge is that well, first off. We're almost gonna be there, buddy, I promise. We're just doing a little bit more exploration. Making sure we're not missing anything or anyone to talk to. Interesting. What's back this way? Just a wall to nowhere. Okay. Cool. Uh, what is... Oh, it's the lodge. Okay, well, hold on. Let's not go there quite, quite yet. Let's kind of just do a quick look around the area. Okay. Oh, there's flooring. Oh, hold on. Let's scan it first. There we go. 
Uh, apparently, this is also just uh, like a straight-up planet we like explore. So I will be. We guess we will do that in uh, due time. But let's go inside and actually complete this mission as and hopefully. Uh, Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Apparently you can wait in any chair to speed up time. Is that true? If that is true, thank you so much as I appreciate it. I will I will check it out. Uh, the lodge. Captain Samuel, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. I actually did not want to take my weapon out in that spot. I just... No, 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 no. There we go. Uh, okay, that's a locked door. Okay, all of these doors are locked, so I can't even go in here if I wanted. Okay, ass, I was not trying to burn down the lodge. It's not like the lodge is made of, like, wood or anything. That'd be ridiculous. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Okay, first off, who are you? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Okay, just one more thing. Uh, why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation is? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space, primarily but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? I like her already. She's a no-nonsense kind of person. Uh, I don't need to be dickish. I'll just say pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. You think I'd lie? This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. I but hate him already. Him, he's here with the artifact. I like you, Mateo. Thank you, Mateo. Now... Let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? How many times has this happened, and who else has had these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. It was... Bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Captain, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. 
Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like at first. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> oh, I was trying to take a picture. Are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Uh... You want me in a constellation. What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Great. Can I please now, for the love of God, get a photo? Thank you. You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I'm Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. How long have you been part of Constellation, Vasco? I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Do you miss Barrett? My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. Protecting Barrett must have been quite the uh, challenge. Barrett has, thus far, survived every mission on which we have embarked. It is therefore evident that my efforts have been successful. I suspect that Barrett would disagree with how necessary my intervention has been in any given situation. Outpost development, what do you mean? The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. 
How do I know if a planet has the resources I need? A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources. Although, rarer elements will be harder to find without training. And while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. Uh, what kind of advanced structures could I build? The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. Sounds useful. I'll try that next time I touch down on a planet. Thanks. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. Uh, I don't want to put you on my crew quite yet, Vasco. I don't know how many people I can put in my ship at the moment. So I appreciate it. I do love you. Uh, granted, you do get in the way and kept asking me and badgering me to come to Constellation. Um, desktop organizers. Okay, well, first off, are these doors now open now that I'm a member? Great. Okay, there's stuff down there. Let's not go down there quite yet. Uh, New Atlantis? Okay, there's a way out on a, to a, like a roof access, maybe, or a second floor balcony thing. See your parents at Pioneer Tower. Okay, there's that mission. That's why we avoided meeting my parents when we kind of stumbled upon them accidentally. Okay, so there's a nice little, like, patio out on the second floor. We've not come across the adoring fan yet, though. I'm really surprised about that. I thought we would have already ran into him. Uh, we will absolutely take the cred sticks. A report on Constellation. The following is an excerpt from a 2283 SSNN news report about Constellation's near collapse. And although Constellation's relevance has been a subject of much debate amongst the New Atlantis uh, intelligent... Saya, the disappearance of founder Sebastian Banks was a blow most felt the organization couldn't survive. In fact, Constellation's disbanding seemed imminent until member Chloe Bao changed her vote in the 11th hour, thus ensuring the group's continued operation for at least the time being, as well as her unexpected appointment to the position of chair. Ooh, I really want to know about the collapse of that. Hopefully we'll learn more. A funky spear sculpture, desktop sand... Uh, oh... Sebastian Banks speech. The following is an excerpt of Constellation's founder Sebastian Banks' stirring 2276 speech to unify Colony's leadership about the importance of continued space exploration. That is why, my esteemed peers, I beseech you, do not forego the dreams of humanity only to plunge civilization into an endless nightmare. The settled system stands once more on the brinks of war, and for what? A dispute over space? The cosmos is infinite, and yet, like our Earth-bound ancestors, we have become selfishly obsessed over what we consider ours. At our core, are we a race of conquerors? Of warriors? No, my friends. If nothing else, humans are explorers. So let us continue exploring. Now is the time to venture beyond the imagined borders of the settled systems and fulfill the dreams of humanity. For if we continue down this path, funding only war and not exploration, I fear there will be no one left to remember why we fought in the first place. Is that a paper mache? Oh, that's an origami sculpture. Yoink. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. How did my dad know where I was? No, no, not that. Uh, uh. Or his note from dad. 
Dear Samuel, if you could stop by home, there's something I want to talk to you about. Nothing urgent, but I would sure like to see you, Dad. Okay. You have anything you want to say? It was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. How long have you been working on all this? Well, Constellation's been around forever. More than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. The vision I saw. What do you think of that was? Oh, right. That. If we were approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon... Barrett saw something too? He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Yeah, that bear, that big Clearly, joker. He wasn't. Whatever I saw and heard, it wasn't coming for me. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? I was wondering, what about... Well, I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for a type of alien flora or fauna or a planet with a specific quality like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet okay cool uh you seem to know a lot about these artifacts oh gosh no i mean that's that's flattering but really we're making this up as we go until you arrived we only had the two and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. How would organic resources help with learning about the artifact? I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. I'm going to click this and see what happens, but I don't know if necessarily I want. I've got some organic resources for you. Great. Let's see what you have. Ah, lubricant. Crafting. Okay, so this is crafting components. I don't necessarily want to sell crafting components at the moment. Uh, Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Oh no. I wanted to explore, not get... I don't want a tour. I just wanted to... Okay, well... I 
Walter, you don't have to answer this, but I was wondering. Excuse me. It was that not a a, a quest to follow what's her name? Apparently it wasn't. I was just insane. Stay safe, okay? Okay, well then we'll just forget that. Uh, there's more stuff that way. Uh, soil box, by glass. Bunch of random stuff. Oh. We will take that. Wooden face sculpture, that's interesting. We'll definitely take that at a later date, though. We got a bathroom with really nothing interesting. Um, their extractors, microscopes, vials, skin cream, fish bowls. He will take all that. Oh my god, this place is ginormous. Okay. Um... Saint? Oh no. That's a book we pick up at a later date. I don't really care about it right now. Okay, hello, Mateo. If you've got questions, speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Are you part of the Sanctum Universum? Because that guy had, I think, that same exact hat on you have. Uh, what brought you to Consolation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. What do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits. You think this was a religious experience? Not necessarily, no. But it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. I know it's important. I can feel it. It has to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. These artifacts all came out of caves? The second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? All right. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Okay, so this was explored, and we've led us down a hallway, down a left, right path. Right is super short, so we'll go here first. Uh, deck of cards, plushy board games baseball stuff weights uh, toy spaceship oatmeal meals personal stuff um, more notepads utility knife staple gun 
boulders. Seems just like a bunch of junk is what this is in this place. Okay. Uh, so that just looped around. That loops here. What is it here? A desktop paper tray, uh, a weapon case, binoculars, crimson something, or weapon case. Okay, first off, what's in this weapon case? Inaccessible, inaccessible. Thermoses. Okay. Uh, what is in this room? Got Moby Dick. We've got tablets and pens. Great expectations. Uh, we got uh, a watch case. I'll take it. Oh, we got a storage desktop digiframe. Fancy ice bucket seal cocktail. Is this my bed? This might be my bed. Okay, well, if this is my room, they put what I just took off. Uh, do, uh, let me drop right there, and then if we can please just manipulate it a little bit, set it right back there. There we go. I think this might be my room. Uh, boardroom display projector yeah just a boardroom looking thing a linen closet basically a basically lunch area bunch of this like random shit on the floor yeah okay that is we were here right yeah we had to been here that loops around there that goes there okay now let's go see what's downstairs uh, we will absolutely take what's in the first aid kit uh, we will absolutely take food if I mean, if they're if they have food for us to just freely take we'll take it we can use it later uh, plants uh, we'll take the hallucinogens take any ammo gladly take ammo any day of the week uh, don't care about the grindle don't I mean we could sell it we'll take it might as well um Anything else? No, not really. Okay, what is this? This is a cooking station, lab, research lab, weapon workbench, spacesuit workbench, industrial. What's an industrial workbench? The industrial workbench allows you to create basic manufacturing components which can be used for building structures for your outposts or crafting mods for your weapons and equipment. The raw resources used to manufacture components can be acquired from planets and moons by starting an outpost and setting up resource extractors. More advanced manufactured components can be created from fabricators at an outpost. Okay, so if we need to do any type of crafting, this is where we're going to be doing it, because I think that's literally everything in the game. Constellation mission board. Uh, we've got apparently a bunch of missions for them we will eventually pick up. God. This place is massive. Okay. Um, take sedatives. Is this like a kid's room or something? A uh, staple gun. Maybe not. I don't know what kid has a staple gun in their room. Uh, Canuck. Okay, we'll take that. I don't know what that is, but we'll take it nonetheless. Any of these, we can't use any of these. Okay. Uh, bathroom. And then over here is, oh my gosh, this place is massive. Okay. Uh, the, the well. Okay, apparently that leads us to the well. I'm interested to see where exactly in the well that leads us to. 
Hello. Okay, master lock something. Screwdriver. Okay, everything else got explored, right? Yep. Okay, where, oh where in the well does this lead us to? Yeah, there's no child labor laws in space as. Um, where in the world am I? Where am I at? Hey. Uh... Door. Okay. I would have never have found this. I have no idea where I am. I mean, I know I'm in the... I know where I'm at technically, but I have no idea, like... Because we did not explore this place. A door lock requires key. I have no idea. Interesting. For some reason, there's a... You're expecting... Yeah, I was expecting Meyer Lurch to pop up any second uh, out of the water. That's weird. Okay. Well, for some reason, there's a back entrance to the well section of Constellation. Okay. My cons... Okay. Interesting. Uh, I think we've got everything down here explored, so let's get up to the main section up here. Wait, hold on. Is that something? Uh, oh, yeah. Take that. Take anything else we can, because we'll eventually either sell it or we'll use the ammo for it. Okay, we I talk. You are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yeah, they're great. Um, okay, we talked to you. We need to talk to you, but we won't talk to you quite yet. soil box. I thought that was a door. I so thought that was a door. Okay. Uh, we need to talk to yeah, the old, older gentleman whose name I forget. Here he is. Hello, Sarah's Walter. Sarah's possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. You don't even know me. Yes, you're right. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. I hope the drinks are at least free. Yes, well, a stock bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Uh, hey, Brooke, how's it going? Uh, craft or modify an item, okay. Uh, what kind of company is Stroud Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Do you think the visions I had mean anything? 
Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? I mean, I haven't hit my head recently, if that's what you're asking. Not exactly, no. But I suppose it doesn't matter. You saw something. Barrett saw something. That's an unlikely coincidence. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. What's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. This isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO, honestly. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. All right. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Okay, duly noted, duly noted. Uh, I got stuck on a chair. Uh, where is Sarah Morgan? I need to talk to you. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? No, oh, I just, I'm not ready yet. I still need time to get settled. I need to go meet my parents. They've asked, that, you know, my dad apparently for some reason magically knew that I was here on location, decided to send a letter to Constellation, even though for some reason he wouldn't know I was here. Uh, so I need to go meet with them, but I'm almost ready. But, but first off, what do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. What is Constellation? What do you do? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Alright. Okay, here's the thing. I still need some time to get settled, but then we're good to go. I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. Alright. Uh, did they actually give me a boost pack? Oh, they did. A constellation pack. Great, we will equip that because I would like the ability to boost about. And if you don't mind, just real quick, I need to just right here. No, 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 I need, excuse me. I need you to look at me. Thank you very much. No, 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 stop, 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 stop walking. No, 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 stop, stop. I need, I need photo mode. Listen, stop. There we go. Love of God. Okay. Picture. Okay. Can you stand up? Ever since Apparently I not. This has felt like home. See you later. Just trying to get some pictures for 
possible thumbnails. Picture. If you must know. Okay, well, the, we'll deal with them in a minute. Yeah, she just, she hate just, Sarah just hates having her picture taken is the issue. 